So Duane, we're a few miles from the second location and again the ecology seems to change. What do we have around here? So we've gotten into a much tighter soil. There's not as much sand here. So there's very little sand, uh, sagebrush and very little shinnery oak. And now we're mostly a mixed grass prairie and even on the tops of these ridges it's mostly short grass prairie with a lot of buffalo grass and blue grama. And there's also some really unique shrubs like this acacia. And, you know, we don't typically think of uh, some of these plants occurring in Oklahoma, but when you get on these really uh, shallow soils on the tops of these uh, ridges where it's, there's been a lot of erosion over thousands of years, uh, it's, it's extremely arid and we get very unique plants. In fact, we had to climb up a little bit of an embankment and I wasn't even sure whether it was rock or just hard packed soil. But... Yep. Yeah, it's much tighter soils here. There's not as much coarse sand and we're just off the river. Uh, here on some really high exposed ridges and if we just drop off in a little bit uh, lower area we'll get into the sand again and back into shinnery oak so even in the course of just a few meters the plant community can completely change based on soil type all right and we see a few mesquite trees around here still yep yeah and uh, they've been here for quite a while you know a lot of these trees are, are many decades old so these are not really recent uh, mesquite and some of them you know, have really nice shape, are big enough to provide shade. Uh, they're not uh, small, multi-stem like a lot of people think of mesquite, but these are actually single stem, quite large plants. Well, Dwayne, thank you for showing us a little bit of Ellis County and the ecology and just how diverse it is within a few miles. You bet. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.